So welcome, Miriam. Thank you. Thank you for talking to me today. Well, thanks for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about your brand and the story behind your products? Okay, so I'm obviously very, very passionate about healthy g and and the story. Um, if I'm going to go a little bit, you know, back in the days, um, the reason I started um, a brand called Healthy Genie is because of my own professional background. I'm, I'm someone who studied to become a dietitian. I have a bachelor degree in nutrition and food technology, and I worked as a senior dietitian in Abu Dhabi, UAE, for about nine years um, mm. in, you know, healthy recipe development. It was um, very similar to the healthy catering things and products that we've been seeing here in the past four to five years. Mm-hmm. But go back a little bit more, like 15 years ago, this was a fresh idea. So I was actually in charge of creating those, you know, meal plans and working with chefs and, you know, developing those recipes. And we used to cater them to people all over the country. So um, that was the kind of experience I had uh, for almost nine years, as I said, Um, teaching people how to have a healthy relationship with food has mm-hmm. been something that I'm very, very passionate about. So That's like, wonderful. yeah, this is something that I always want to inspire people that you can be healthy, you can enjoy yourself. It's never like, I don't like dieting and the idea that, you know, oh, we're going to start restricting foods and, and that kind of negative talk. I think it's not useful. And I like to focus on the bright side of things and that you can actually have a treat, enjoy it. And it's good for you. It's going to nourish your body. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm a body confidence coach, so I'm right there with you. <laughs> ah, excellent. <laughs> we speak the same language. We do. <laughs> and for the date side of things, so I obviously, I was born and raised in the UAE, which um, is basically, I would say, the um, source of the whole idea and business and products that are date-based. Mm-hmm. So um, over, you know, when I was growing up, it, it was very, very simple. Like it started off with people having small date shops <clears throat> where you would come in, purchase a few dates. Um, dates were major from like the get go over there. Um, and we're talking about 20 years ago now. Uh, my dad, actually, I call him the date guru. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he is the one that taught me all about dates. So he used to take me to the date market. We used to go around and, you know, he would teach me about the different kinds and we would sample them and taste them. Like they were major in our household. Um, like it's a, it was a big deal the whole time. Mm. And my mom used to make us those snacks out of dates. Um, so we always had this tray full of, you know, dates and raw nuts. And we used to have that in the morning or as a snack mm-hmm. during the day or, you know, a kind of a sweet fix kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can say that it was part of who I was from the very beginning. Like I love dates. And then I'm going to say I was 30 years old when I moved here. So that's back in 2013. When I decided to, you know, move to Canada and make it my home, I was, I was shocked because they only knew dates as like date squares or um, Mm -hmm. like a healthy sweetener, um, date balls and not balls, even like the energy balls and the date, like that kind of business was booming, was starting Mm -hmm. to grow, like having a snack bar, like the Lara bar, and then all these crazy other products came out. But it was never that people were actually enjoying the date itself, like as a whole and a complete fruit. Mm -hmm. Um, So, you know, being here kind of made me go with the idea that I really, really wanted to start my own business. It's been in my head for years. I'm like, I just moved to a new country. You know, I've done a big leap why not start the business now you know exactly yes <laughs> I mean, I'm in a high I'll do it uh, so I call myself healthy genie because I'm uh, the nutritionist and you know the person behind the healthy tips and recipes mm-hmm. and I knew I wanted to do something with dates from the very beginning um, so I started with products like date truffles and stuffed mm-hmm. dates So really enjoying dates in the raw form and in a like a a whole complete snack that tasted like you were having dessert. That that was my idea. Mm -hmm. And people loved that. I started selling in St. Lawrence Market, different farmers markets. I was doing events with places like uh, Williams Sonoma, Lululemon. People were really like 
really, really enjoying them. And I really wanted them to feel like they were going through like this fun food experience. You're tasting different flavors, but it's so good for you. So it's not just something that makes you like, oh my God, this tastes amazing. It's actually good for you because you're mm. eating wholesome ingredients. There's nothing in there that's actually not good for you. It's good for you, good for your kids, good for the whole family. Sounds fabulous. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And I don't know if you want me to continue to where it progressed into the date spreads. Which absolutely, is, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So like a couple of years into the business, mm -hmm. um, it just came up to me. I was preparing for a farmer's market. I was like, I want to, you know, introduce something new. I, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I'm like, I always had like a tub of date syrup and tahini, the sesame paste in our home. And I'm like, um, it's a very traditional thing that we did um, in the Middle East. Like you would, uh, right after a big meal, you mm -hmm. would bring in the tahini and the date syrup and you mix them together and start, you know, dipping a fresh bread in it and eating it after a meal just to taste, change the palate. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a sweet fix. So I'm like, why don't I just mix these tubs and sell them as a spread and see what people think? And oh my God, Stephanie, <laughs> <laughs> people went crazy. They sold wow. out every single time I would bring them to the market. And it was very, very like um, the way the product developed is something I'm so happy with because they started in these, you know, small jars and I was printing those labels at home and oh, wow. yeah, selling them at the farmer's market and it was so good. But then the business side of me was like, okay, so you know, this is mm -hmm. the product that I should focus on. It's uh, it's a great one, amazing ingredients, and it's easier to, you know, um, scale up in that sense. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So can I ask you, I mean, it sounds like a wonderful uh, product or wonderful products that you make. What, <clears throat> what is, exactly is the difference? I've seen different things on the market that are somewhat similar, but what's the difference in terms of yours and uh, the others in the market? Okay, so if you look at the date market today, it's definitely bigger than it, what it was when I first started, which was in 2015. Um What's different is I think that a lot of these products are focusing on, they're great. I mean, not to take away from them. Like there are so many great products out there with dates today. I think what I would say would differentiate my spreads from any other one that's available today is the fact that we use, um, some of them would use the um, ground dates. Mm -hmm. I use the date um, syrup, which is cooked dates and mm -hmm. Um, they're extracted, like the supplier that I use extracts the dates naturally so that you get the whole benefits. You're not losing anything. You're not losing the nutrients or the fiber. Um, and then I'm mixing it with really, really high quality tahini. Mm. So the ingredients are very high in premium. And you get this kind of um, creamy, velvety texture of the spreads. I think what would differentiate my product is the taste as well, because I'm the one who developed it. And um, I come from that background where I know exactly what kind of tones and hints of tahini you need. Um, it took me a while. It took me about three years to perfect the recipe. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of work. and um, But I'm so happy with how it turned out today. Um, I was also one of the very first who were offering a raw and vegan um, product, which it was the date truffles and stuff dates. So we never added any sugar it was never cooked and it was 100 percent plant-based fantastic can you speak to some of the nutrients that are in dates because maybe people aren't actually aware yeah so i call it like a magical and superfood um dates are amazing it's a small fruit yet it's rich it's like a nutrient rich um food so it's pretty high in fiber uh in potassium so actually the same amount of date i know that Bananas are very popular for potassium content, mm -hmm. but actually dates have more potassium in them than uh, bananas. So the same amount would be um, a lot more in dates. So for anyone who's not aware of, you know, what potassium does, it's actually mm -hmm. good for your brain health. Um, so dates would make a great source of that. Uh, the high fiber content is amazing because um, fiber is a great thing that you need to add to your diet every day through mm -hmm. eating wholesome ingredients and foods. Um, the dates are actually one of the best natural sweeteners out there. So if you're actually looking for something sweet, 
So dates would make a much better uh, option compared to any other refined sugar uh, out there. They have more nutrients in them than most other alternatives out there. Mm-hmm. Um, dates, actually, I mean, there were so many studies that would uh, recommend dates for women uh, right before they go into labor. Oh, so, wow. yeah, like the last trimester, they have linked eating more dates during that time with an easier labor experience. Interesting. Yeah. So <laughs> you can look that up. It's just, yeah. So I I also like what I like about dates, because I personally eat them a lot every day, mm-hmm. is that they're low in glycemic index, by the way. People think that they're sugary. So, oh, my God, they must be, you know, mm-hmm. causing you that kind of uh, climax in sugar. It, mm-hmm. They're not. They're actually a low glycemic uh, f- index food. Mm-hmm. And uh, they've been linked to, uh, you know, uh, contributing to a sugar blood, blood sugar, sorry, balance as well. Mm-hmm. So um, and the good thing is they give you energy. It's the other way around. So when I sometimes, you know, as a mom. an entrepreneur I have a lot of busy mornings even now with uh, COVID and being at home it's still the same like it's Mm -hmm. crazy in the morning sometimes so the first thing I eat is like three dates every day with a few raw nuts and that could keep me going for hours because the energy in dates the fiber in dates like a complete um, wholesome snack Mm -hmm. so um, yeah Uh, you should like anyone like I don't I don't know if you've ever seen but runners a lot of people that want to keep that momentum and energy going during the day um, and they want something quick and fast they use dates a lot yes I used and to actually you know. run and I, I would eat dates before yeah. <laughs> so you know <laughs> they're fantastic for energy absolutely yeah yeah um, can I ask you about the different types of dates You mentioned earlier there were different types. Are, are, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of types, but um, which uh, types are your favorite or do you predominantly use? Okay, so there are actually hundreds of different kinds wow. of dates. Okay. And even the different dates, like people, like I would say North America is uh, more into medjool dates. Mm-hmm. But even with medjool dates, there are like three to four different grades of the dates. And I know because I... select certain grades when I'm using them to stuff them or when I'm using them to create a recipe out of them. Mm-hmm. So um, uh, the d- flavors that I actually personally love uh, are ones that you would find in places like the UAE or Saudi or the other side of the world. So mm-hmm. things that um, they're called khidri dates. So they're like a semi, they're not too soft to, and not too dry. It's like a, the perfect blend. Mm. Um There's one called khlas, which I love. I feel like I'm eating toffee when I eat it. Oh, yum. <laughs> it's like a caramelly texture. It's amazing. And you can Sounds you great. don't need it, need to add anything to it. You just mm-hmm. have it with like a sip of tea or coffee and, and you're you're done. You're good. Um, but medjools are really good. Like I honestly enjoy them. And um, I don't like the too, too, too soft ones. I, okay. Like... Um, There are large sized ones that are extremely soft. Mm-hmm. I find that these are actually great for cooking or making, you know, a bar at home with. But um, if I'm choosing ones that I snack on, like the one I have right next to me here, mm-hmm. but these are like the medium sized ones. I think they're um, medium to small. They're semi dry, but they're still a bit chewy and, and, and soft inside. I love these when I'm here. That's like the one I snack on almost every single day. Yum. <laughs> and there's fresh dates, by the way. These are rare uh, because they're only found for a very specific time and they're very sensitive. They're not like dried dates, like the kinds that we eat um, kind of have a good, uh, they're shelf stable. They're good. Uh, they can have a lo- long shelf life, but the fresh ones would need to be refrigerated and um, they're, they're sweet, but they're crunchy as well. It's a weird feeling in your mouth when you mm. eat them. Mm-hmm. But they're super tasty, super super. Oh. They come like a yellowish color. Uh, they're not like the dark, dark dates that you see. Oh, I've never seen them. I'd love to. Uh, I'm going to have to look for those now. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I mean, you, know, you need to at least try them once. They're really mm-hmm. good. Sounds great. So there are no preservatives, all organic, all fresh ingredients, vegan. So not like I'm not certified organic, just to mm-hmm. be very specific. But because of the date, like... 
dates are always organic just for you know your general information there's no such thing as a non-organic date it's just um, they're all natural the palm trees have been here for thousands and thousands of years um, they don't need any specific conditions to grow in that sense like they've been growing for decades and centuries now uh, but yes if you go through the process of um, certifying them organic that would be great but I do use organic uh, cocoa powder in my uh, chocolate date spread Mm, that sounds. But fantastic. there are no absolutely no added preservatives. There's no added sugar because okay. some date syrups out there, you'd be you have yeah. to be mindful, would have some glucose or sugar added to them because that gives them a longer shelf life. Mm-hmm. Um, the one I use has no added sugar in it. Fantastic. And um, what's your favorite product? What's your favorite way to have dates? Okay, so I feel like I'm talking about my uh, kids now and I have to be very mindful. <laughs> so in terms of, I love my stuff dates, to be honest, because they're, I'm a coffee and tea drinker. Mm-hmm. So I'm always having dates with them. So um, my the flavors that I love are the walnut and pistachio ones. So if you see mm-hmm. them on my website, I have a pistachio filled date and a walnut filled date. These are my two favorite ones in terms of when I want to eat it. Mm-hmm. but the spreads to be honest they're like they're amazing because what I love about my spreads and I can't make a choice in terms of which flavor is my favorite but it depends on the season so right mm-hmm. now I find myself eating more of the chocolatey one mm-hmm. because you know with colder weather you crave more chocolate and sweets so I'm always like spreading it over toast Mm, and good. yeah it's really good and you should try it with peanut butter like instead of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich mm-hmm. do the peanut butter with the date spread Ooh. and oh my god it's gonna change your life it's amazing <laughs> and my so kids fantastic. my kids love it like love they it. eat the they eat the jar by like sorry the the date spread by the spoon like they think they're eating something like nutella and i'm like i'm so happy that they like it's a treat that you don't need to hide from your kids it's mm-hmm. really good for them <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Sound, your products sound amazing. I cannot wait to try them. Um, pistachios. Oh, most love yeah. pistachios. And it's pistachios. very seasonal now, unfortunately. <laughs> so we kind of stopped producing them for this season. Today was the last day we're shipping them out. Okay. But they're amazing. Once they're back, they'll be great. But the spreads are around uh, like the whole year. So fantastic. yeah. Fantastic. So where can we find your products? So uh, my... I have an online store where you can actually purchase and we ship everywhere in Canada. So it's the easiest way to uh, purchase from us is through Mm -hmm. the online store. We have the date spreads uh, as individual jars or in bundles. Like our highest selling um, item is the three jar bundle. So you get to try all three flavors. Mm -hmm. And I always recommend this as an introductory um, bundle because you get to try the cinnamon one, the chocolate one, and the traditional one, which is just the dates and tahini in it. Mm -hmm. Um, You can also find this in a few select uh, stores. So McEwen's at uh, Shops at Don Mills carries our spreads. Okay. And if you are in London, there's a small bakery there that carries our spreads, London, Ontario, called Biladi's Bakery. Oh. Um, there is a, a press market in Collinwood, okay. has our spreads. Uh, a few coffee shops in, you know, downtown Toronto carry the spreads as well, because um, we actually had one of the coffee shops uh, uh, create a coffee date drink out of it, which is delicious. They use the, our cinnamon spread. Yeah, with their coffee and you can choose your milk. I tried it with the oat milk uh, option and they create a latte uh, basically using uh, coffee and the cinnamon date spread and it tastes out of this world (laughs) to be honest. Awesome. (laughs) Yeah. Otherwise there are a few like virtual markets that also carry the product. So we're like more on a virtual side of things at this point. Okay. Um, Oh, and your website is healthy genie. Yes, healthygenie.ca. Excellent. And you can find all the information there. There's a place to shop. There's a place to read about us and read more about the products. And the blog uh, side would have uh, recipes as well. Awesome. That sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Stephanie. I loved speaking to you. (laughs) And I love speaking to you, Miriam. And um, hopefully you'll be receiving your jars soon and you'll let me know what you think. I cannot wait. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. 